For AccuSolve, an automation was created using AccuConsole to create a quick four-step process for rotating machinery setup. The process starts after importing the CAD model or HyperMesh mesh. First, you define the volumes, such as the solids, stationary fluid, and rotational volume. Then, you define the boundary conditions for the inlet and outlet, which will set the flow rate. Next is the mesh generation, which is a two-button click to create the mesh. Then the model can be solved with a one-button click to run the analysis. This whole process can be done in less than 10 minutes using this automation. The problems being solved are for centrifugal pumps that enable the transport of fluid. Fluid is flung out to the walls, and kinetic energy is added to the fluid by means of a rotating impeller. The energy is converted into pressure in the diffusion chamber as the fluid is slowed. For this demonstration, the rotating machinery workflow is used inside AccuConsole. The problem is being solved for pressure drop. The critical areas for identification are recirculation zones, high pressure drops, flow separation zones, etc. Reducing the critical areas will result in increased efficiency. The constraints placed on the model are available for review. In the traditional process, the global list is open to set the problem description for this rotating machinery problem. The parameters would be set in the problem description area for the analysis to be run. Also, the solution strategy would need to be set for the analysis. Each parameter would need to be filled out for the solution strategy. The materials would need to be set for the different volumes. The different analysis types would need different surfaces set for the materials. This would normally take two to three hours to set up. Opening the rotating machinery automation shows the four steps needed to perform the analysis using a top-down approach. The first step is to select the volumes for the problem. The Do button is clicked to open the Add To dialog box. The solid volume, in this example the case, is selected on the model. The selection is completed by clicking the Done button. Next, the stationary volumes are selected. The volumes are selected on the model. Complete the selection of the volumes by clicking Done. Next, the rotational volumes are selected. The geometry is selected on the model. The selection is completed by clicking Done. Finally, the rotating solid, the impeller, is selected. The geometry is selected on the model. The selection is completed by selecting Done. For this example, water is used as the fluid material. The rotation axis is set to X. The RPM is set to 500 for this example. Finally, to complete the volume setup, the geometry is grouped. An information window appears to show when the grouping is complete. The geometry is grouped very quickly with no manual intervention. Next, the inlet and outlet surfaces are selected. First, the inlet surface is selected. The top surface is selected on the model for the inlet surface. The selection is completed by clicking Done. Next, the outlet faces are selected. The end surface is selected as the outlet face. The selection is completed by clicking Done. The inlet boundary condition type is set to volume flow rate. The flow rate is set. The units are set to liters per minute for the analysis. Next, the mesh is generated for the model. The default mesh parameters are calculated from the geometry parameters. For example, the leading edge of the blades is known and more mesh will be applied to those areas. The information window appears to show when the default mesh parameters are calculated. The mesh is generated on the model. Using the automation, two clicks completes the mesh generation. The next step in the workflow is to solve the model. First, create the AccuSolve input and then launch AccuSolve. The setup of this model took less than 10 minutes. The model takes about 30 minutes to solve for one steady state solution for one flow. After returning to the surfaces step, a parametric study is used to study a model with variable flow rates. The parametric study option is set to on. 
The Open Array button is clicked to open the dialog box and set multiple flow rate values. The Array Editor is used to list the values for the flow rates. For this example, five flow rates are used to define the variable flow. AccuSolve will run in the batch mode for each individual flow rate. The results will be assembled for post-processing. Here is the contour of the analysis for the velocity in a cross-section of the impeller. This shows the areas of recirculation and the velocities at the impeller. Here, the velocity profile on a coordinate plane and the pressure contours on the impeller are shown. And here is the pressure distribution on the whole fluid side. Finally, we see the pressure on the impeller blades.